by moving the mouse pointer at a certain position and clicking on it the robot goes to that particular xy uh, xy position and a fixed z position which we have already predefined that can be varied but uh, uh, since the mouse has only a 2d uh, 2 uh, xy axis control so we use the mouse to control just the x and y axis so i'll click it on this position and the robot has gone somewhere close to uh, a point which is uh, these two points are uh, the same points I uh, move it a little to the right to the bottom and the robot is moved on note that the the end effector is maintaining its angle theta w which we define in the beginning so the end effector always the orientation of the end effector with the ground will be moral will be constant now I get it closer to the body so I move it a little left little clockwise anti-clockwise sorry little more uh, and these are these are these are 20 points we'll run the program again the program right now is just uh, we just made it for 20 points so not gone closer get it further away further 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 now to a slightly clock that's that's pretty much the extreme of the uh, 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 extreme point. position this is that's a singular point now I rotate it a little clockwise. A little more clockwise. Yeah. Now just for fun we can like go to the the anti-clockwise extreme and see how it moves here. Yeah. It's gonna jerk. Uh Abba is already scared about it. So. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't yeah. fixed it as such. Yeah. So yeah. You have to touch, you have to, you have to hold the motor. Now let's make it jiggle around from left to right. It's like quickly picking up something and going. Give some there. close coordinates to origin and far away coordinates. If it goes there. So let's like, make three points. Like for example, give here and somewhere there. So somewhere here. Both rotation and uh, translation. The program's over for 20 points. Run it again. Here, close, and back, far, anti-clockwise extreme. Like somewhere in this. Now, yeah. this the concept the of path planning can be used, uh, can be seen from here. Now, if you, if the points, the intermediate points are far off, the robot is going to jerk and move. See, but if we get these points closer, like the the robot will move a little smoother. Right? So these points could could be as close as possible. And uh, the closer we get the points, the more the smoother the motion, the lesser the jerks. And uh, now these points can be got by uh, uh, by solving a path planning solution. I got some error, but. Uh, by solving a path planning solution, you basically define a curve. Uh, say you define a, a spline curve with with one point here, as I'm sh showing in the screen, one point here, and one point here, and then you uh, make a spline interpolation between these three points, and take all the intermediate points of the curve. So basically, the robot should move something like what I'm moving it now. What I'd be moving it now. So I'm manually manually putting in these points and you can see you can see the robots moving a little more smoother get it inside it's not worth the singularity yep okay Got it. 